Welcome to Services and Splines, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. My name is Andrew Lowe, and I'm Industrial Designer with the Demonic Group. In Surface and Splines, we take a look at the production tool-ready modeling of this work flashlight in SolidWorks. And in our final installment in this video series, we're going to take a look at a modeling strategy for the overmold, the soft rubber that will be added in a secondary molding process. So the regions of the flashlight are going to be overmolded with a TPE elastomer, and it's going to provide some increased grip and cushioning in the handle of the flashlight, as well it will provide a cosmetic color break in the indented region on the top of the flashlight. So the older molding process first involves molding the rigid housing in a traditional injection molding operation, and then the parts placed into another injection mold tool where the resin is injected. So we're going to need to model a re uh, recess in the part for this resin to live. We're also going to add a gutter to the part. This is going to help the um, tool shut off and limit uh, flash in the overmold. So the first thing we need to do is create uh, tool bodies. So we're going to be working with multiple bodies when creating this, and uh, it can be useful to use this little uh, flyout here to quickly show and hide bodies in SolidWorks. So here we have the, the flashlight. Note that most of the modeling is complete, and so I'm going to use the copy body command. Note that I'm going to get an error message. Uh, I probably have it dismissed, but you'll see that it'll say that no translation or rotation is specified. You want to create a copy of the body in place. Um, so I'm going to hide the original because we want to be working on just the copied body here. So this is important to note the solid bodies folder can come in use. And you can use this little flyout to quickly show hide the bodies. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the profile. I'm going to create a cut and cut that large body to the shape of the overmold region. I'm then going to define the overmold thickness using the shell tool. So we can see I've shelled this out to a, a 60 thousandths thickness and I have to do the same for the other body. So I have the starting of the overmold now and I'm going to use the parting line draft tool. Note that I only need one degree here because this uh, isn't going to be textured so I don't require as much draft. But note here I'm actually drafting, if we look, note the direction of pull, I'm not dra drafting the direction of pull for the overmold, I'm direct drafting the direction of pull for the rigid plastic housing. We're simply creating a tool body that we'll use to define the region on the uh, plastic part. So I'll do the same to the other body, parting line draft tool. Uh, next I've added some fillets uh, just because my cut was to virtual sharps. It's always easier to add uh, the fillets after the draft rather than having to draft all those fillets. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is develop the gutter. And to do that I need to create an additional copy. Once again I've created a copy in place so I've copied both of these uh, bodies. If I go back up to my uh, solid bodies here, I'm going to hide the original because I'm just going to work on the body move copies. I'm going to use these to build the gutter. To do that, I'm going to use the move face tool oh, and I'm going to change the wall thickness from 60 to 30 by moving the inside faces back 30 face or 30 thousandths. So I now have the correct thickness for the gutter. I want the gutter to be half of the overmold thickness. And finally, I'm going to create a cut. So by cutting back, we'll show the other gutter body. So I've now created a stepped profile. So this was much easier for me to work in in the multi-body environment and, and work with tool bodies. In order to create this uh, step lip, it could have been uh, difficult with, with the cut features just because everything is in 3D. But if I create one uh, body and then uh, create a second body with that uh, step in it, I can combine them together. But before I combine, I need to copy the overmold body because I'm going to use this to, um, to actually act as the overmold in the part. You'll see that in a second. So finally, I use a combine feature to add the gutter with the overmold. And now I've created a body I can use to cut the large or cut a recess into the flashlight. So I have addition right now. You can see the two bodies are on top of each other. This uh, tessellated appearance uh, indicates that the two faces are are kind of identical to each other. I'm going to continue these additional features 
do the exact same thing that we looked at using the shell to define this error overmold thickness, creating a tool body with a gutter, and finally creating another copy. So the last thing we need to do, or this final combine feature here, is a combine subtract. So my main body is the housing of the flashlight, and then I have my three tool bodies. What that's going to do is, when we hide this geometry, we can see we've actually created a recess in the part. So this is what the actual molded flashlight uh, will look like, and then the secondary molding operation, the, the resin, is going to be shot into these cavities creating this geometry. And we have this uh, gutter, this little trench region, that uh, allows the tool to shut off in this area and help prevent flash. So that's it. That is the completed uh, flashlight. The overworld was the last operation uh, we added. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, SolidWorks uh, video tutorials. So to recap today's lesson, we'll use Booth Body Copy to create the bodies. Uh, we'll define the overmold region using a cut. I then add a draft. Remember that I'm drafting the substrate and not the actual overmold at this point. We'll create the gutter tool bodies by copying the bodies and using move face to find that depth. Uh, I'm going to additionally create the tool body by combining the gutter and the overmold together. And finally, I'll subtract the overmold. I have the main rigid housing, I have the tool bodies, and now I have the recess for the overmold in the part. So once again, that's a completed flashlight. I'd like to make note that uh, the SolidWorks file with this complete feature tree you see here is available on the Damani Group website, www.damanigroup.com. Feel free to download it and peruse the feature tree on your own time. So thanks for watching, and once again, please follow the Damani Group on LinkedIn while we'll be posting all kinds of new SolidWorks video tutorials.